Hi, my learning friends. Today we are going to talk about two digit subtraction again, but we're going to figure out what happens when that bigger number is on the bottom of your problem. So I'm going to show you a subtraction problem like 82 minus. Hi, my learning friends. Today we're going to talk about two digit subtraction with regrouping and that is when we go to subtract and that bigger number is on the floor. So our learning target is I can subtract two digit numbers with regrouping. So let's learn how to do that. When you have two numbers and you're going to subtract, let's say we have the number 34 and we have the number 82. With subtraction we know that whichever number is greater always has to go on top otherwise we can't subtract. So I'm thinking, hmm, 34 or 82, which one is greater than? Well, I know that 82 is greater. So I'm gonna put 82 on the top of my subtraction problem. And now I'm ready to subtract. But wait a minute, if I have two things, can I take four things away? Let me see, two things. I'm gonna try to take four away, one, two. I don't have enough, so we're gonna learn that when there's more on the floor, see how there's more on this floor right here? You have to go next door. And there's many ways that you can do that. So I'm gonna show you, when there's more right here, we have to go over to our next door neighbor, our tens column, and we're gonna to have to borrow from them. It's like when you don't have enough sugar, you have to go over and ask somebody for a cup of sugar. So we don't have enough ones. So we're gonna go, hey tens, can I borrow some ones from you? So I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna say, hey, Mr. Eight, I need more. And he's gonna give me one. So if he gives me one, 10, now I only have seven tens because I took one away from him. And now I get to bring that 10 back over. And I know if I add a 10 to my two, it makes 12. So look, now I have 12. If I have 12 things, can I take four things away now? I can. 12 minus 4, 11, 10, 9, 8. And I got my answer. Now I have to go to my tens column and I have to find where is my bigger number. Oh, well now there's more on top, so no need to stop. I don't have to borrow. 7, 6, 5, 4. And my number's 48. That's my answer. So second graders, when you are subtracting and that bigger number is on bottom, you want to say more on the floor, go next door. And remember when you go next door, what you're doing is you're going next door and you're borrowing a 10. You're regrouping those things around. So let's try another one. And I'm actually going to write this problem up here a couple times. So I'm going to write 83 minus 59. And the reason I'm going to write it up here a couple times is because I want to show you a couple different ways that you can do this so that you can pick which way you like the best and which way works for you. Because what might work for me and might be my favorite way might not be your favorite way. So I'm going to give you a couple different ways to do it. So I always want to start with finding my bigger number. Where is there more of? Well, I know there's more on the floor. So I'm going to circle more on the floor. If you don't want to circle it, you don't have to. But circling it really helps me recognize, hey, there's more right here. Okay, so more on the floor, go next door. So I'm going to solve this in a different color so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. We know if there's more on the floor, we have to go next door and borrow a 10. So I'm gonna show you a couple different ways you can do that. Some of us like to come over and we like to cross out that eight and right away make it a seven, because it's one less. And then I bring my 10 over here and there's 13 minus nine. Another way that you could do it is by saying more on the floor and then you take this circle and you just go straight and cross it out from there. Go next door. It's a, just a continuous movement. More on the floor, go next door. And now you know, oh, I crossed that out. Why did I cross that out? 
Oh yeah, because I have to take a 10 away from it. I have to change it into a seven and bring my 10 back over here. And another way that I've showed some of you is more on the floor, go next door. You can cross it out and just drop down your 10. And this still becomes our seven, but this is just one continuous motion. Cross it out, bring our 10 down. And then also some of you like to cross both numbers out and change this to a seven and then make your 13 up here so it's easier to see. So it's all doing the same thing but it looks a little bit different. So whatever is easiest for you, you guys. I'm gonna solve it like this, cause this one's easiest for me. But I'm gonna get the same answer however I do it. So I just crossed out my eight cause I needed to borrow a 10 and I changed it to a seven. I brought my 10 over, 13 minus nine. Hmm, that's four. Now I've got more on top, so no need to stop. More on top. 7 minus 5 is, well, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and my answer is 24. You'll do it exactly the same way. It's still 13 minus 9 is 4. 7 minus 5 is 2. Same thing here, too. 13 minus 9 is 4. 7 minus 5 is 2. And 13 minus 9 is 4. 7 minus 5 is 2. So whichever way you want to do it, you're gonna get the same answer no matter what. You guys just pick which way you wanna do it. So how about we try a couple problems on your own? So why don't you guys grab a whiteboard, pause the video, you can grab a whiteboard and get ready to solve some problems with me. And when you get back with your whiteboard, hit play. Okay, so you just hit play. Now let's solve a problem. I'm gonna put a problem up here for you. Let's do 41 minus 28. Now I want you to pause the video and see if you can do it by yourself. Okay, so go ahead. All right, you guys just hit play. Let's see if you got the same answer as me. I'm gonna do it in a different color so you can see. Hmm, where's my number that's more? One or eight? Oh, eight's definitely more. More on the floor, go next door. Borrow a 10, bring him back, and now 11 minus 8, hmm, that's 8, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, more on top, no need to stop, 3 minus 2 is 1, is that the answer that you got? If you did, you can erase your whiteboard, and we'll try one more. Okay, so why don't you try this one now? How about you guys try 77 minus 48. Okay, pause the video and solve it and see if you get the same answer as me when you hit play. All right, you guys just hit play. Let's see if you got it. Hmm, my number that's more, seven or eight, what did you think? Oh, eight, definitely. More on the floor. I'm gonna do it this way now, more on the floor. Go next door. Why did I cross that out? Because I need to borrow a 10. So if I'm borrowing one, I have to take one away and bring it back over here. 17 minus eight. Did you guys get nine? Good job. Now there's more on top. No need to stop. Six minus four, five, four, three, two, 29. So, Second graders, remember, if there's more on top, there's no need to stop. But if there's more on the floor, you have to go next door. You have to borrow a 10 and bring him back. So now, your learning target, you should be able to subtract two-digit numbers with regrouping. 